We recently got caught in some cold weather in Taos, New Mexico, while we were camping in this awesome vintage camper resort. And our Renogy lithium iron phosphate batteries with self-heating function were up to the cold weather challenge. Overnight, the temperatures dropped down into the single digits and it was around nine degrees Fahrenheit when we woke up. After cleaning the snow off the rooftop panels and putting out the solar suitcase, the batteries started up their heating cycle by 9 a.m., which you can see here on the Renogy One core monitor. You can see we've got 133 watts of energy coming in from the solar panels at around 10 amps, but the heater is consuming some of that because we're only putting around 1.3 amps into the battery. About 20 minutes later, the heater had turned off and the batteries were charging normally. Just an interesting side note, in addition to our Bluetooth module connection to the batteries, we've also been testing the Battery Shunt 300, formerly known as the Smart Shunt 300. But the Shunt doesn't display the heating status on its screen because it's not pulling data directly from the battery management system, so you won't see that here. In addition to the self-heating batteries that we've installed in our own rig, Renogy offers a lineup of self-heating LFP batteries ranging from 12 to 48 volts and in a 100 to 400 amp hour capacity. See the video description for more information. Self-heating batteries are an awesome way to extend your RVing adventures into those colder seasons. So get out there and we'll see you on the road.